Okay, so going back to Maya, uh, how do we put that into practice ourselves? Well, we'll start off with a really simple piece of geometry. Uh, let's make a polygon plane. So I'll click on that. Make sure you've got your polygons tab selected here. And now to make it, I want to make this square just to make it really simple at the beginning. So go ahead and hold down the shift key as you drag the square out and it will constrain. Let me do that one more time. I'm going to hit 6 to turn on the shading so you can see me do that. So polygon plane, hold down shift, constrain, and we get a perfect square. Um, you don't have to do it that way. You could actually go out here, lazily draw any size plane you want. Go to the attribute editor or the channel box. I'll go to the channel box here. Polyplane, set the width and height here yourself manually. I'll just center 10 and 10. And that way you'll get a perfect square too. Um, now I'm also just going to, because I kind of get in the habit of doing things this way, I'm going to go ahead and line this up in the center of world space here. I can do that two ways. I can hold down, uh, I can get my move tool by hitting W. And then if I hold down X, this changes into a circle for snapping. And that means it's going to snap to the grid. So I'll pull it along the X axis until that snaps to the center. I'll pull along the Z axis until that snaps into the center. And then I've got my uh, plane perfectly lined up. Now the other way I could do that, let's say I move this off somewhere, uh, is to do it over here again through the channel box, through the translate commands here. Translate Y, 0, translate Z, 0, return, and sure enough, there we are. In world, that's referring to world space 0, 0, 0, and we're set up there.